Jinkies, I am so sorry. I am late. I did have some car trouble on the way here, but not so worry. Everything's okay. My name is Velma Dinkley. Velma Dinkley. I don't know if you recall me. I am from Mystery Incorporated. Um, we are the group that caught you in this case. I don't know if you remember Fred, Daphne, who's my best friend, Shaggy, and Scooby. So, we were the meddling kids that uh, caught you in the act, but not to worry, it's only me today. The sheriff was kind enough to allow us to interview you instead of them. However, we did have another case going on, and I volunteered myself to come here and speak to you, okay? So, we're gonna get started, but before we do that, I just want to make sure that you are aware of your surroundings. I don't know if you recall, but when we were chasing you down, um, both Shaggy and Scooby, they um, kind of fell on you from the second story of the house. And I just want to make sure that you don't have any concussion and that you do understand what is happening, okay? So I am going to start with some tests and we're going to start with a little flashlight test. I do apologize. Like I said, my car did burn, break down, so I'm going to be using my phone. using the phone to turn on the flashlight, okay? And I want you to follow the light with your eyes, okay? And we're gonna go to the left, right, up, down, okay? Left, right, up, down. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do it from this side, okay? Left, right, up, down, left, right, up, and down. Beautiful, beautiful, okay. And we're going to do it with the pen, okay? We have a pen right over here. Okay, and I want you to follow this pen. So we're going to follow it side to side. Perfect, beautiful. You're doing a good job. Now we're going to go up, down, up, down. Great. Okay, so we're going to do one more test before we start. I'm going to show you a number here. And I want you to tell me the first number you see, okay? What number do you see? What number do you see now? Okay, what number do you see here? Okay, good, good, okay. That is wonderful. I am glad that you're feeling good. I do apologize again on behalf of Shaggy and Scooby. Do. They didn't mean it, you know? They were just running away from you, actually. They did not mean to hit you. Um, would you like any water as well before we start? Water? Water? No? So I'll just be keeping this for myself, okay? So we are gonna grab the pen again and my beautiful journal. Isn't it pretty? This is where I keep all my notes. So we're just gonna open it up. Okay, and we're gonna start on a new page. Is that okay? Perfect. Okay, so can you tell me your name? Okay, perfect. And can you tell me your date of birth? What about your social? <laughs> it's, I'm just playing as a joke. Just want to make sure you're, you know, understanding me, okay? Okay, and can you give me your address? Okay, perfect. And how long have you been here in Colesville? 14 years, wow. Why don't you start by telling us what you're looking for at the old Wilson house? We do understand that that is an old home that has been there for a quite long time now. So, I just want to give you the chance to straight up tell me what you were looking for and how you got there. So, you don't want to speak. Okay, so, I'll tell you my conclusions and what kind of happened and how I kind of caught you. Because honestly, you were a little bit sloppy. Should have been a little bit better because apparently this is not the first crime we've committed. Shocking, right? I know. All right. So here I have my camera, so if you want to lie to me, I have evidence right over here. This is the camera that I used during the investigation to take pictures. This is the camera that was used to take pictures of, you know, everything. So please, don't lie to me. I have it right over here, okay? So, I do understand that you were wearing a mask. We haven't found it yet, but that is okay, because we will, and we have enough proof to 
figure out how you did this. Do you know what your first mistake was? No? Okay, here, let me tell you. Your first mistake was leaving this behind in the house. Do you know what this is? It looks like it's for like electrical cables, no? That's what I thought too, but no. It turns out that this For a green screen, yeah, a green screen. I was shocked too. That's why we couldn't find a mask. No, because you used this to put up a green screen in the house so we could see ghosts. That's why there was no mask. That's why we couldn't find it. Because you were using a green screen to scare them away from their house. And when we were there, Try to get out as soon as possible, but you left it behind. And I thought to myself, Jinkies, ghosts aren't real. Yeah, I know this, but pff, Scooby and Shaggy, they didn't want to believe it, you know? They never do. So they still didn't believe until we actually caught you, which is kind of weird because we've done so many cases that at this point, it's like they should know that ghosts aren't real, you know? But that's another story for another day. Okay, so that was your first mistake. Okay, you're not shocked? You're shocked? No? Okay, okay, not shocked. Just remember, I'm not a cop. I'm not a cop, so I am not here to arrest you because you've already been arrested. I'm not here to play good, uh, good guy, bad guy. I'm just me, just Elma. Just Miss Little Vilma Dinkley, okay? Her little glasses. Which actually, they kind of fell on the way up the stairs. Um, remember when you pushed me? Yeah, do you remember that when we were catching you? We were trying to catch you and, and you pushed me down the stairs. Yeah, I lost my glasses. Yeah. They almost broke too. I was just there like, my glasses. Where are my glasses? Where are they? Where are my like, glasses? But I found them. No thanks to you. Um, Shaggy was the one that actually helped me. Yeah. So, yeah, you're sorry? Oh, it's okay. It, it, it happens more than you think. That's why I have insurance on them. Because if not, <laughs> I'll be in trouble. Alright. So your first mistake was the green screen holder. Okay. Which is okay. Because we didn't find any fingerprints on it. So we did not know. But you want to know the main reason why you got caught? Yeah. Do you know why? No. Okay. So when you were in the house, for some crazy reason, you took it upon yourself to use an old brush in the guest room. Yeah. I don't know why you did that. Do you know why? No? You don't know why either? Well, I'm not a psychologist, so I can't really tell you why you did that, but look right over here. This is the brush where you left your hair. It's all dusty and crusty, but you left your DNA here. How? Because you brushed your hair with it. Now may I ask why would you use such a dirty brush like this. You didn't have one at home? Oh, you were wearing a wig. Uh, okay, that makes more sense, yeah. But this was your actual hair, not synthetic wig hair. So how do you explain that one? Hmm. Yeah. Is this bringing you back memories? Yeah, so this was the big mistake you made. You left your DNA here, you left your hairs. Should have at least cleaned it before. I mean, I get it, it's very dusty and crusty, so it's, it's, it's hard to clean something like that. But it took us a day, you know, DNA, hair. It took us a day. Um, I had to put it in my little machine because for some reason the sheriff's one wasn't working, but thankfully we had one in the van. But it took a little bit longer than needed. Mm -mm -mm. And that's when I realized who could be involved in this. This was before your DNA. And I realized that you had a revenge. Because 
You used to live there. That used to be your old family's home before they sold it. And then when you came back to Coolsville 14 years ago, they told you you couldn't go back. No, you couldn't go back. And you were sad about that and that is okay. But you took it to another level because you thought there was a treasure in the house. Yeah, you thought there was treasure there. Why? We looked everywhere, we, we did underground radar and we couldn't find anything. But it was all in your head. And you want to know? Why was all in your head? Because of this book. You remember this book? So do you remember this book? Yeah. This was a book you used to read when you were a child. Yeah. And inside, story about a treasure in an old home and your mind made up a whole scenario that from the book this was your home but the thing was this wasn't your home this was made up from the book that's why i realized this seemed very familiar this case because i read this too my parents used to read this story why? Because this was a book written by someone from Coolsville, from Coolsville, California. And that's why you thought you had a treasure that your family had left behind. And you had to claim it to be yours. Now listen, I don't blame you for that. But I am blaming you for it because why? You know, it's okay, I understand. So yeah, I realized it had to be someone that had had to live there before. And honestly, this house has been in your family name since it was built, so it was very easy to figure out it had to be someone within your family. And that's when I realized that you had no money, you went broke, you had just lost your job. So it made sense, you know? It made sense. So the next day, when I got the DNA samples from the brush, I realized it was you. It was you all along. All we had to do was catch you in the act. That's all we had to do. So, we went to your house first, which honestly was the best thing we could have done. Because, silly you, left your iPad. You left your iPad on your nightstand, unlocked, with all of your plans here. Wow. I'm not surprised. You left all your plans here on your iPad and it was unlocked. It's so easy, but you had to act on it. And in it, it talked about the book. Yeah, the book. And then I took some pictures with it, you know. That was most of the evidence was there. And that's when we realized, when we checked your plan from your iPad, that we were doing it today. You were going to go dig where the treasure was. Which, technically, you were going inside the house and you were going to break a wall. So you're trespassing already, you know? So we decided to go in there. And that's when we saw the ghost. Oh, you little green screen. But at that point, I realized it was a green screen because of this. So we took it down. And when we took it down, we caught you running around, running away from us. I know, I know, I know. You panicked when you saw Scooby-Doo, but Scooby-Doo is special. He speaks. He's not like he doesn't attack. He runs. So, you were scared of him. But you should have been scared of Fred. Not me, but Fred. And we chased you down. Up and down, up and down the house. Until Scooby and Shaggy just somehow magically fell on top of you and caught you. It was perfect. It was beautiful. It was amazing. I don't mean to laugh, it's just, it's crazy how things turn out, you know? It's like, all the cases are handed in the palm of her hands, and so are the people in it. Okay. You still have no thoughts in this? No comments? Okay. So, based on the stuff we found, so you, inside a house that was not yours anymore, trespassing, about to break a wall, and we caught you with your materials. 
we also have DNA on this because the second time you actually left DNA. I don't know why you weren't wearing gloves. I guess you were getting sloppy because you were so excited to get the, the chest, huh? And then, like I said, we have your DNA here. The brush. And of course, we had our own copy of the book. Now, can we forget? iPad open with all of your plans there. You know, maybe you should next time keep your plans in your head. I don't know why people like to write down their plans. We also found the chest here where it said where the treasure was supposed to be, the treasure map. So we found where the chest was. And we also saw the blueprints of the house as well. So, and let's not forget the camera. Do you want to say cheese? Actually, we'd love to get a picture and show it to my mom. You know, show her that this is my first time in the sheriff's office doing work. Is that okay? Have your consent? Oh, perfect. Okay, one, two, three, cheese. Perfect. Thank you so much. My mom's gonna be so happy and proud. So yeah, um, just wanted to let you know that you're definitely been caught and you're definitely gonna be processed and booked and you're definitely going to jail. For how long? I don't know. I don't deal with that. I just have to make sure that the mysteries are solved. After that, we don't deal with any of the legal side. We should, however, do a, we should have a lawyer. Do need a lawyer. Yeah, let me get a lawyer next time. We should. So, um, yeah, just want to let you know that you've been caught. Give you the formal interview. Not really interview, I just kind of told you what kind of happened. Um, since you don't want to speak too much, at least you did give us your name, and obviously it matches the one that we have. Like I said, we have your DNA, you don't even have to speak. You you're caught. Like, you're done. You're done. So, I'm very excited. Um, to get out of here and go get myself a Scooby snack with Scooby and Shaggy. They're my best friends. Actually, no. Daphne's my best friend. Shaggy's just, he's special. But yeah, um, thank you so much one more time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. And the last thing I gotta say is do better next time. And don't let some meddling kids catch you, okay? It was a very fun interview here. Nice to meet you again, Velma Dinkley. And I hope I don't see you anytime soon, okay? Goodbye.